our carcass. Now we're going to remove the, the lake quarters. So you're going to flip it over. And you're going to notice when you flip it over, uh, you can pick up one of the handles and kind of bring it up like it's working out, like one, two, right? And the reason why you do that is because when you do that, it flexes the muscle that's right here. You see this little bump? And then there's a bump on this side. If I lift this up, see the bump? It's a muscle. That is the best, in my opinion, the best tasting part of the chicken. It's called the oyster muscle. And it is ridiculously good. Um, so when I cook chickens at home, I usually cook whole birds and break them down after that. I don't even, show, my kids don't even know about it yet. Because I always eat it. Like when I'm, I'm there, mm -hmm, I'm dying. It is so good. Do any of you know the oyster muscle? Not yet? Okay, well you have a beautiful treat ahead of you. So it's this little muscle here. And how do you find it? Well, you can see this is symmetric, right? The spine runs down the middle. And we have the same thing on this side that's on that side. And what you got to do is you follow the, the leg all the way up the thigh, and it's going to be right at the top, right there. Right where it comes together, it's going to be right about there. <coughs> so you are going to find it. You're going to make a little incision in front of the oyster muscle, which is about right there. Okay. Then you're going to take your thumb, and you're going to scoop the oyster muscle out of the bony pocket. Looks like this. And you go in. Find that spot. I'm going to scoop, scoop the muscle out of the bony pocket, which is right here. So come look. It sits right there. So this is the oyster muscle right here. And that's the bony pocket that it sits in. Cool. Okay. That's the bony pocket and then the oyster muscle. Then once you get it scooped out, then you can take your knife and kind of just work your way down now. Work your leg quarter out. So now I have a leg quarter, the drumstick and the thigh with the oyster muscle attached. So I'm showing, the way I'm showing it, there's lots of ways to break down chickens. This is the one they use when they test 